uh, today uh, we will see the uh, QPSK modulator actually uh, we have to simulate the QPSK uh, modulator QPSK modulator we have already uh, gone through the um, theory uh, so if I go back to uh, the sinusoid so today we will see the simulation model the uh, octave simulation model the simulation model so we will discuss the simulation model uh, if I go back to my uh, theory uh, actually this is uh, what uh, the waveforms uh, look like you can see the bits which is uh, uh, 1 minus 1 actually it's a represent minus 1 is a representation of a 0 so you have 1 0 1 1 uh, 0 0 0 and triple 1 this is uh, we studied this sequence in detail in, in the previous lecture I have to show you the simulation today so we just separate the odd number of bits which are 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 and uh, for these odd number of bits uh, we will uh, generate I of T now here I of T uh, I of T uh, signal uh, is taken for if you uh, see if uh, you have a 1 then I of T is 1 you have a 1 I of T is 1 you have a minus 1 I of T I of, I of T is minus 1 and so on so you have uh, this uh, polar non return to 0 uh, uh, stream or a signal representing polar NRG signal uh, which is 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 1 uh, we will assume this period to be a unity one one year so from 0 to 1 then this is uh, 2t uh, but t you will take uh, 1 so 3t 4t and 5t so we have uh, this x axis we will have 1 2 3 4 and 5 here so we will assume uh, we will assume that our t is uh, unity one similarly you can see uh, another thing which is uh, worth noting here in one interval one time interval this is a continuous waveform to plot a continuous waveform uh, in octave uh, what we will do in this uh, simulation model that in between 0 to t in between 0 and t like uh, for example in the first time interval I will take uh, 200 samples of this signal so it means I have 200 samples of this uh, one this signal and I will plot those 200 samples from 0 to 1 similarly uh, we will have 200 samples of this signal so uh, first of all I will generate I of t right I will generate I of t uh, then the uh, cos k real cos of 2 pi f c t and then we will uh, draw uh, this product i of t multiplied by cos of 2 pi f c t similarly we will generate q of t q of t sine of 2 pi f c t and then uh, we will ge uh, generate the q p s k modulated signal which is i of t cos of 2 pi f c t minus q of t sine of 2 pi f c t so we will see that finally we uh, generate this waveform uh, now starting with the uh, uh, starting with our uh, simulation model as uh, we have to see that uh, in uh, when we generate uh, uh, when we generate i of t let me refresh it so that uh, we can uh, we can So uh, when we generate i of t as I mentioned that for uh, generating i of t uh, which is a signal uh, like this one uh, for time interval one then I have minus one and minus one and one. So from zero to one from uh, zero to one uh, I will take this this is positive one level right we will take this positive one level and this is a negative one level. So for for zero uh, between this zero and one, uh, I will have two hundred samples. So I assume that I have two hundred samples of this signal. So I'll plot those two hundred samples, 
and similarly for uh, my cosine wave uh, which has a frequency 2 hertz if you observe uh, it's actually the frequency of this wave is 2 per time interval uh, as shown in the previous slide so two waveforms are there uh, two cycles complete cycles of a sinusoid are there in a single period here we will have uh, sorry this is from 0 to 1 this is from 0 to 1 right up to here so uh, from 0 to 1 we will have two cycles uh, again we will assume that we have 200 samples of this uh, signal as well and we will try to plot uh, our signal for five time intervals so uh, let me start simulation uh, I have to simulate this uh, signal so this will be in front of us and uh, I'll go to octave because I'm using octave so let me start uh, octave um, let's do it one by one uh, now suppose we already have this uh, signal uh, we already have the uh, this one uh, this uh, we already have separated these uh, odd number of bits and we have 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1 and 1. So, so uh, let's take the time interval first and let's concentrate on the first uh, uh, time period only for which we have to plot a 1. So uh, let me concentrate here for the first time interval. I will plot 1 here and a cosine wave here and the product it cos of t for the first period uh, initially. So, uh, going to my octave, uh, I'll uh, start this uh, uh, here. So, let me uh, uh, define my time axis. My time axis is from 0 to 1, just for one time interval, and I'll take 200 samples uh, from 0 to 1. So, this is just the first time interval first period I'm plotting it for the first period uh, well let me start by one over instead of zero I'll start from here so that I do not stuck with the uh, size of the uh, with the size of this uh, vector now if you see it has 200 the vector is of uh, uh, 200 elements so time axis I have from 0 to 1 200 samples and each sample is uh, uh, 1 over 200 apart from the other one so I have 200 samples from 0 to 1 uh, well for these 200 samples uh, I have to generate I have to generate I of T so it means from 0 to 1 I'll uh, have to plot 200 uh, samples so if I say my I of T uh, from 0 to 1 are 200 samples 200 samples I'm using the built-in function once to generate uh, I of T which are 200 samples of this signal uh, and let me plot it let me uh, plot it to see whether uh, I of T can be plotted uh, against uh, just for one single period so this is how we plot our period now you can see from 0 to 1 we have 200 samples and we plot it from here is 1 and uh, from 0 to 1 we have a, a unity 1 uh, so it's okay uh, now next target is to uh, plot cos of 2 pi of ct from 0 to 1 uh, having the same uh, uh, same sample uh, same number of samples so let me see my cos of t is ct which is cos of I generate a variable ct cos of 2 pi fct so I have to define fc also right 2 pi fc and t but uh, I have to define fc so let me define fc before executing this one fc is 2 uh, hertz 2 per time interval so uh, I have computed my c of t also cosine wave uh, which is a cosine wave and let me plot uh, now I'll plot uh, my cosine wave C of t in this interval and let's see how many cycles uh, do we have uh, so if we observe our 
the sine wave from 0 to 1 this is the x is 0 and we have the 2 hertz to uh, for the first time interval now if you multiply uh, these two uh, actually we will i of t with the with c of t which is our cosine wave uh, we will get the same thing we got it is all ones so we will get the same uh, the in the uh, out of the product we will get uh, a similar waveform i of t multiplied by cos of t will give us uh, this same waveform right so uh, let's let me generate it for all five uh, periods uh, five time intervals and then we will multiply the uh, it with the cause wave so if i go back to my uh, octave and i uh, uh, redefine my time axis it's not from 0 to 1 but let it be from 0 to 5 for five time intervals and now uh, we will uh, we will again uh, we will again compute our c of t uh, which i can copy from here and i'll paste it i'll paste it here right so i compute my c of t now you can see the uh, in the workspace 1000 samples of t and i have 1000 samples of c of t right uh, so uh, the signal is there i of t should also be redefined because our signal here i of t is just for one period so uh, let me redefine this one this is just for one period so i have one and i uh, should have uh, if you see 200 samples let me uh, show it here i should have 200 samples here plus one then minus 200 samples of this minus one 200 samples here and 200 samples here so if i uh, specifically write it one and then i have minus one 200 samples of minus one again minus one and again a one so this will be my uh, i of t uh, samples of i of t uh, c of t and i of t are computed now and uh, we can plot this product c of t and i of t product we can plot this one now uh, and if you observe let me <coughs> plot it i'll plot this uh, c of t uh, multiplied by i of t so uh, let me give it some name so as i say this is the product product one which is uh, c of t which is i of t uh, keep in mind here we have to apply dot and uh, steric dot multiplication with c of t because sample by sample multiplication so this is the product of these two and let me plot this product uh, versus t product one so if i plot it uh, let me uh, we can see that our signal let me extend it so that we can observe it clearly now you can see from here uh, our signal should look like the one uh, which is shown in uh, our uh, figure now we can uh, place our figure just uh, side by side uh, here you can place our figure here and you can observe can observe that it is exactly similar we have two cycles in the first interval this is our first interval completes time interval one then we have the same cycles in the second interval then in the third it is inverted due to minus one so we have inverted again in the uh, next interval we have uh, after third uh, in time period we have this waveform and the last you can see an inverted waveform so we exactly we generate this waveform this is how uh, the two signals are uh, multiplied now um, if we go back and uh, we generate we have to generate and uh, we generated just i of t cos of 2 pi of ct for five time intervals now we will generate q of t 
minus 1 1 minus 1 1 so we have to generate q of t so 200 samples here 200 samples here and so on so let me uh, generate that sample waveform q of t the signal q of t uh, which is actually um, uh, I would say I'll generate this uh, I'm using the same uh, ones uh, 200 ones not 1200 so 200 ones but uh, the first one is minus 1 right so I need the first one is minus 1 yes so I need 200 samples of minus 1 so I'll put a negative sign here 200 samples of minus 1 uh, now uh, I just copy it and say ok uh, 200 samples of uh, plus 1 then the next bit is minus 1 again 200 samples of minus 1 and the next bit is plus 1 so I should have 200 samples of plus 1 and the last one is again a plus 1 uh, the last one is again a plus 1 right so the last one is again a plus 1 so uh, let me this one. so we have generated q of t now I have to generate the uh, another uh, k here which is sine of 2 pi f c t and then we will uh, find this product so let me generate sine of 2 pi of ct uh, I save it in a variable st so this is my sine of 2 pi of c and t sine of 2 pi of ct uh, well this is generated 1000 samples you can uh, observe the workspace as well we have 1000 samples of uh, s of t now um, the sine waveform uh, is generated we have to find the product now so let's see the product and we say product 2 the second product uh, is q of t uh, multiplied by s of t so uh, let's draw this one uh, uh, let me draw this one uh, uh, this uh, uh, let me draw both of these uh, as uh, let me draw q of t first I use the command subplot command and I will plot in the first figure I will plot uh, t versus q of t right so this is uh, in the first figure now you can see minus 1 here is 0 right so you have a minus 1 a positive 1 a minus 1 and 1 and 1 so it's exactly uh, our q of t now let's uh, generate plot uh, in the second figure let me plot uh, uh, q s of t right so let me plot s of t in the second figure so if you see here we have our sinusoid carrier right now we will multiply this with uh, this waveform and see what uh, actually we get uh, in the third plot uh, I would like to display product 2 which is the uh, multiplication of these two so if you go to your slide now this is the multiplication and it is exactly uh, similar to this waveform i of q of t sine of 2 pi f c t if you uh, bring it to let me let me show it to you here uh, it will bring our figure here and if you observe it this one q of t sine of 2 pi f c t so this is our q of t sine of 2 pi f c t the first in the first interval you have these two cycles which are exactly similar in the second we have this one which is similar to this waveform the third period you can compare it in the fourth period once again and the fifth period you can see so our waveform is exactly uh, similar to this one now this is how we multiply 
मल्टीप्लाई क्यू ऑफ टी एंड साइन ऑफ टू पाई एफ सी टी नाउ दिस आफ्टर दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी हैव टू शो वी हैव टू शो दैट वी हैव टू शो दैट द एडिशन ऑफ दीज टू द एडिशन ऑफ दीज टू गिव एस एक्चुअली आई ऑफ टी कॉज ऑफ टू पाई एफ सी टी माइनस क्यू ऑफ टी साइन ऑफ टू पाई एफ सी टी गिव एस दिस सिग्नल सो लेट्स एड दीज टू सिग्नल एंड ऑब्जर्व इट इन द ऑक्टिव सो लेट मी ऑब्जर्व इट इन द ऑक्टिव ओके Uh, we already uh, did it, uh, so I'll close this figure. I'll close this figure instead of opening another one. Uh, so uh, for now, I would like to show you the final waveform, which is uh, I'll just plot it. Plot the final waveform, which is product one minus product two. Right. Uh, so let's uh, plot this waveform. and uh, we can observe it here so let me resize it and show it to you uh, on the same scale uh, i'll bring it to that figure i'll bring it here this is our final wave from i of t minus i of t minus uh, this one so you can see your the first symbol qpsk modulated symbol it is exactly similar to this one with a minus pi by 4 angle and the second one is exactly similar to this symbol with a pi by 4 angle now uh, the second after uh, the second time interval after two time periods the waveform starts from here and it end up here you can see from third to fourth and uh, fourth to fifth time interval you can compare these figures and these are exactly similar uh well this is how you uh simulate uh your waveforms your qpsk modulator and you can see that uh, you can actually generate a qpsk modulated signal by these uh, sine and cosine using these sine and cosine carriers you can generate a qpsk modulated symbol